She's accused of trying to kill her child. And then on top of that, there's a immense amount of emotional turmoil between, she's so sweet and so nice and so means well, but she's always late. She, like if a person can make a right or a left, she always makes the wrong choice. And it's not on purpose, so you can't blame her for it. So Rick is a character who feels justified in you know, keeping his ex-wife uh, away from him and away from the child. Daddy paints with his hands. Don't like it. In other ways, he's maybe doing the child harm because Rick is not the most equipped person to be a father. He's consumed by his, his work and his painting. And I think that's Paul's way of exploring this dilemma a lot of um, people have and a lot of creative people have of, you know, balancing work and family. I get along very well with Paul. He's, he's got a strange mixture of intensity and um, fun. Um, he's very good with actors. He always has um, good scripts. He's a great writer. My favorite part so far has truly been working with Paul. With a, like that type of a director, with like Maria, with James, with just actors and a crew and in an environment that I feel so, so safe in. I wouldn't be here either. How could you be so fucking irresponsible? I came as soon as I could. This is not my... I know it's not your fault. Like most of the characters in this film, you don't really understand who this character is until it unfolds towards the end. I think what for all of us, uh, Paul is such a beautiful writer that the character keeps getting more and more complex. You think one thing in the beginning, that Teresa's this uh, straight arrow lawyer who's representing Mila Kunis's character, Julia, in her custody case. And then you find out towards the end that she has her own complication and pain and, and stuff going on.